Welcome to South Central Indiana. My name is David Roop, owner and guide for Indigo Birding Nature Tours. I offer personalized guided birding and kayaking trips, both locally and regionally, plus birding and culture tours of one of my favorite places in the world, Belize. I'm thrilled to participate in the hashtag Nature Nurtures campaign sponsored by Toms of Maine. One of my goals as a guide is to connect people with nature by teaching them how to look and listen closely to the wonders that surround us. And in this video, I'll be visiting some local nature preserves to look for signs of spring. Wildflowers, birds, any activity that demonstrates that spring is here. I'll be using my iPhone and spotting scope to give you an up-close look at nature, narrating as I go. I hope you find this virtual tour relaxing, educational, and inspiring. Here we are at Honey Creek, Morgan Monroe State Forest the edge of the Low Gap Nature Preserve. Sunrise, and the creek is running full, and the birds are starting to wake up. The eastern towhee is in the sparrow family. It looks a little bit like a robin with its chestnut orange flanks. This is a male doing its tui call. In the background, you might be able to hear a cardinal, a chickadee, a tufted titmouse. You can hear a couple of close by Carolina chickadees. Chickadee dee 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 dee. Besides birdsong, another thing that I really look forward to each spring are the wildflowers especially the forest wildflowers. Here we have one of my favorites, Dutchman's Breeches. If you use your imagination, the flowers look a little bit like pantaloons hung up to dry. There, I found some trillium. Trillium's supposed to have three leaves, but guess what? I found one with four. Spring beauties one of the most widespread wildflowers in the forests of eastern North America. I've come across a large number of Virginia bluebells just starting to bud out. They thrive in floodplain forest area. This area has probably been flooded several times since last spring. the base of the hill covered with largely oak trees but a nice diversity of other hardwoods as well. And here are some squirrels and chipmunks making noise in the background. The state of Indiana has a wonderful system of state nature preserves. Here we are at Low Gap Nature Preserve in Morgan Monroe State Forest. Located in the very northeastern corner of Monroe County. Let's see for the Louisiana water thrush. See it. That was it. And that's called a water thrush. It's a near tropical migrant warbler. It shows up here early in the spring and eventually will build its nest at the edge of the creek, up tucked underneath the exposed roots that have shown up uh, because of erosion. Here we have a 
have a look too. He has a Louisiana water thrushes trying to establish their territory. Notice how the Louisiana water thrush bobs its tail as it picks through the leaf litter looking for bugs. The water thrush looks like it's actually building a nest. It's got, it keeps collecting leaves and going back into that little overhang. Its partner's been around doing the same as well. Now that the water thrush has left, I wanted to show everybody what was building or where it was going back into this little tucked in cove that was lining with leaves that probably will be its nest. Unbelievable camouflage. Welcome to Brown County, Indiana. I'm in Brown County State Park, our largest and most visited state park. Here we have one of the vistas in Brown County State Park. Looking into the sun, you can see the expanse of rolling hills, largely forested. In fact, this section of Indiana has over 300,000 acres of somewhat contiguous forest, and it serves as a great breeding grounds for quite a few neotropical migrant songbirds like wood thrush, scarlet tanager, many warblers like the cerulean warbler. This is not their time of year yet, but they'll start showing up in about a month. In the meantime, you can hear a swallow flying overhead, you hear a cowbird, a flicker, a towhee, a song sparrow, nuthatch. Not all birds are songbirds. Here we have a turkey vulture warming up in the morning sun after a cold night. They do play an important role in the ecosystem as they are scavengers, cleaning up roadkill and other dead animals. A slurred whistle there for the cardinal. Chew, 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 chew. Here we have the brown thrasher. Eastern bluebirds are among the first birds to start building a nest in the spring here in our part of the country. This is a male preening right now, trying to keep those feathers in good shape, sitting amongst the buds of a maple tree. A sure sign of spring in Indiana is the flowering of the redbud trees. You can see they're getting real close to popping but not quite yet. I usually think the middle of April. It's about the peak for them and then they're quickly follow followed by the flowering dogwoods. 
Next, we're going to visit Ogle Hollow Nature Preserve, another one of the state nature preserves, but this one is inside of Brown County State Park. As I walk through the forest, I see a lot of the mottled leaves that we're looking at here, the trout lily. However, when there's just single leaves, they don't ha produce a blossom. You have to find ones that have two leaves. If they have two leaves, then you get this beautiful yellow flower here in early spring, the yellow trout lily. The hills of Brown County have a nice diversity of hardwood trees. Some of them you can identify by the bark. Here we have the smooth bark of the beech trees, American beech. Back there we have the shag bark hickory, very shaggy bark. Very furrowed bark, very straight trunks, the tulip tree. Over here a little further, and we'll see white trunk of the white oak, and then this one that's curving away a little bit, sugar maple. Here's cut-leafed toothwort. Birding has all kinds of different advantages for us. Mental, physical, emotional health, our well-being depends on being outside and connecting with nature. Birding is the way I happen to do it. You hear the drumming of the pileated woodpecker? The nasal call of the white-breasted nuthatch? A distant yellow-throated warbler singing its descending song. Pee 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 Cardinal Carolina Wren. Here's the nut hatch again. Here we have a hairy woodpecker looking for food. She's got a little bit longer beak than a downy, a little bit larger size. As you get the chance to get outside and explore, I encourage you to use the hashtag NatureNurtures to uh, share your experience with others.